Top five favorite food shows with bonus six, and that is Benjamin Babish. Let's go at number five. Next, for number five, will be Bizarre Foods with another Andrew, Andrew Zimmerman. And um, this was a show uh, I loved growing. I loved growing up watching. Um, and I also like uh, Bizarre Foods America. I think I like the original a tad more. Because he goes to these very off places, um, you know, and internationally. And this guy just, like, will eat something. Just some of these random things. And it's interesting, though. It's very interesting. Sometimes you'll find out a lot of these things could probably either help you, cure you, um, kill you, like... It's very interesting, and uh, I've always been a Andrew Zimmerman fan, and um, uh, you know, Travel Channel is awesome. So, Bizarre Foods, awesome show. Next is Unwrapped, just Unwrapped, not Unwrapped 2.0, Unwrapped, the new legacy, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, this is the true Unwrapped with Mark Summers, Alfonso Ribeiro. Yeah, you know, Mark Summers. I know he tries to... This is a guy that's been doing so much replacing people. Nope, you're not doing it with Mark Summers, buddy. Um, just watch Unwrap. This guy is awesome. They go through all the different foods from Mars to Hershey to KFC to everything. Bacon, which is a nod to the next, pers- the next show I'm going to talk about. So... Yeah, Unwrapped's awesome. My number three is a show I am going to take a look at uh, for maybe a video after this, future video. Because I always found it so interesting. And that's the United States of Bacon. This was either going to be three or... Th- uh, next one was going to be two or this was going to be two and the next one was going to be three. But I made a good... Uh, I made a, a perfect perfect uh you know i made it better just like this and because if you see the the show after this you probably agree too um yeah united states of bacon is awesome todd fisher uh i do not think he is the relative i don't think he is carrie fisher's brother i think he's another this is another todd fisher um big into the food biz you know, he had another show called United States of Food. Um, there's another show called United States of Steaks. And my personal favorite, United States of Bacon, is this guy. What well, he was worse than Guy Fieri. This guy would just go around all of the, you know, all the, the just the biggest places for bacon and glut on it. I'm into really weird stuff. And I think this is one of the one of the weirdest, but this guy has some passion to it though. This guy has something I like about him. And he seems like a you know, a down to earth guy. He was on Rachel Ray. Um and yeah, I, I really like this guy. Uh they did recipes. Um and bacon is a good recipe. Bacon, if you use the crispiness of bacon, put it on peanut butter cookies. That's a really, it turns out to be a really good ingredient for peanut butter cookies. Um, bacon can come in handy if you for a few times. But uh, yeah, United States of Bacon, I'm going to talk about this in a future video. So I'm not going to... Go on and on. Uh, I'll save that for the next video. Or the video after. Whatever. Now my number two. It's got to be Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen is. It's one of my favorite competition shows. Uh, The American version. I absolutely love. um, If I could pick a season. Season three. um, The Rock is my favorite. Winner. Um. I love one seasons one through six, and I do like seven. I, I do like Jay. 
I, I can't stand Benjamin, though. I think he was the worst, in my opinion. I know he was good and stuff. I just never liked that hot shot attitude. Most people can do that, can pull that off. He just pulled it out more of as more as an asshole. Um, but Hell's Kitchen is an awesome show. And I always liked the foods and the stuff they would come up with uh, for meals or, you know, dishes and stuff. Really awesome. The number one is Man vs. Food. It's one of my favorite shows. It's not because of the food aspect, kind of, because I, I, I know places like that. You know, there's like whole and wall kind of places. Um, I love the first it's got to be it's got to be Adam Richman I like Casey Webb but he's no Adam Richman um I'll probably take a look at the Casey Webb uh seasons and kind of like uh do what I'm doing with the United States of Bacon kind of go through it and you know um say what I like say what I probably don't like but um, Adam Richman is, in my opinion, the, he is truly, you know, the heart and soul of Man vs. Food. And the thing I hate the most is um, some of the things he did in it, people would, like, screw with him. And I remember one time he was on um, Before We Feast... He, you know, it's just my favorite episode with the the wings. Um, you know, he go he went to this place, um, and he did a wing challenge. And the guy goes, put more of, you know, the stuff that can kill you, into it, and it ca- it really hurt him. It, um, he even says he still has like nightmares, like because of how hot that was. And uh, the wing challenges were always my favorite episodes. But, um, yeah, this was always my favorite show. I'm definitely going to go through this again. I did it one time, and I didn't do a good job. I want to give it justice. Maybe uh, say a top ten favorite areas uh, for Man vs. Food. That would be really cool. Some of the places he went to, I've went to. And that would be really cool to talk about. So, yeah. This is it.